Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, first of all, we're gonna. Today is the twelfth of April. Yes. It is this Wednesday, my dear. And it is yeah. and it is Wednesday. So I wanted to show you guys this real quick. Um, this was sent in the mail for Heather. It's a thirteen-piece watercolor painting <coughs> set. And Eddie, show them what you got. Here, I'll give this back to Heather. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so Eddie got a harmonica. Can I go? Okay, you can go. Um, so and we want to say thank you for that, but I don't want to be in the video because I look really bad because I'm sick. Yeah, Heather's sick, so she doesn't want to be in the video, but um I'm not gonna say who the subscriber is because I don't want anybody giving anybody a hard time that sent something for the kids. But uh the kids both wanted to say, What do you want to say, Eddie? Thank you. Okay, and Heather said it already as well. Um they wanted to say thank you for that. They really appreciated that. Uh, one of my subscribers um, had contacted me and asked if he could send something, and so he sent something to both Eddie and Heather. So, first of all, I'd like to say again, thank you very much for thinking of the kids. I appreciate it. Now, as you can see, Buddy has decided to chill out on this video, so I guess he will be joining us on video. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about today, uh, in an SHTF situation... Basically, we're going to all have what we're going to have as far as to drink and stuff like that. So, of course, everybody's focus is water, which makes a lot of sense, obviously. So, um, I'm going to give you a few examples of other things to have so that you're not just drinking water because just drinking water would drive you out of your mind after a while. So, obviously, I have the tea bags here. Oh, we also have... Oh, yeah, we have... I'll show that, too. Um, I have the tea bags here, and that can be used to make iced tea or also just regular tea if you heat, heat it up. So I actually have, and it's 100 tea bags in every box, and, and, I, and I have a ton of these boxes because obviously, as you all know, I like to drink my tea. Um, another thing you have, we have here is like hot chocolate mix. Um, we have quite a bit of this as well because the kids like to have hot chocolate. So um, that's something that we have as well. When I, one of the things here, it's like um, I'm going to show you. Um, when I, one of the things I actually don't have on the table, because I actually have it all packed away, is powdered milk. So I have uh, a lot of the powdered milk. It's already all packed away. You just have to add water, and then you have milk. So that's definitely something good to have is powdered milk. Um, I have here, we have Tang. So we flavor too? Well, it's Tang. Everybody knows Tang. Tang. I they, didn't know what they, Tang was. The astronauts took Tang to the moon. Heather, come on now. I don't know what's that. I don't drink Tang. So then we have, uh, this is a grape mix here. We have fruit punch. We also have lemonade. We have pink lemonade someplace too. And we have pink lemonade as well packed. I have a lot of this stuff um, already packed away. These were just some that I actually had out. And here's another thing of uh, iced tea here. Instant iced tea. So these are just some examples of having different things so that you can mix up your variety of having something to drink. So you're not just drinking water. Because like I say, after a while you'd be like, what are we having to drink today? Oh, we have water. So with having... Lovely. Uh, what's that, Eddie? Lovely. Lovely, yes. Um, I also have coffee put away. It's another thing, obviously, that you can make. Um, you know, I'm not a real big coffee drinker. But I actually do pack away. Actually, Heather, would you grab that under the stairs? That thing of coffee? Okay. Please. Thank yeah. you very much. That's here in my ring. Or ramen. However you say it. Yes. So, um, having a variety of different things to use to drink. To, you know, have to, to mix up. And uh, yeah, so here's an example of uh, Colombian coffee. Uh, we got this at Wegmans. And I just packed it away. Never opened it. It's all sealed up tight. And so, um, you know, it, again, it's another thing. And it's, and it's also something that can be used as a barter item as well if we wanted to. And that, any of this stuff could be used as a, bar, or a barter item. So, good to have a variety of different things that you would want to have to drink. And the other thing is with it, it gives you some more normalcy. So that's something that you want to think about too, is uh, you know, and it's obviously with these, it's you know, it's the sugar rush, 
and uh, so you're you know you're getting a different taste. You're not having the same old, same old every single day. Like I said, that would absolutely drive you nuts after a while. I mean, water's better than nothing. But if you can have a different variety of different things, a lot of it, guys, as far as prepping goes, I think the best explanation that I can give is trying to keep, <coughs> trying to keep things as normal as possible. That's realistically the key, is trying to keep things as normal as possible. So... Anything that you can do as far as having, uh, you know, a, a drink mix or, you know, some sweets for the kids or, or whatever on hand to use, to utilize if you need to, uh, it's a smart thing to do because, like I said, it's going to give you that taste of nostalgia, if you will. Um, if it's six months after an event and nobody's had say, lemonade for six months. Or even a while, because who drinks lemonade normally? Well, yeah, normally people don't, but it would be a, an awesome treat. treat to have a glass of lemonade. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what my thinking is with it. And like I said, I have uh, I have a lot of stuff packed away. Um, not just this stuff. I have other stuff that I've, that I've utilized as well. But And I do have a lot of these things packed away as well. So... Um, any thoughts that you want to add on to that or, you know, um, that you're thinking, please feel free to share. Uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's all about trying to think outside the box. Everybody thinks Band-Aids and bullets, okay, and beans and rice. Everybody thinks that. That's always the forefront of everybody's mind. And uh, so having other things that you can use to think outside of the box, thinking, okay, what, what would I want to have the, to keep things as normal as possible? And so I don't think a lot of people think of drink mixes. I really don't. I mean, I haven't really seen a lot of videos of anybody saying, you know, I have this drink mix or that drink mix. So I wanted to do a video on that subject because, you know, I just, again, I'm always wanting to make you guys think. A lot of my videos, that's what it's about. It's to make you think, to think of, okay, you know what, I didn't think of that. Or, you know, and I've had people make comments and I went, wow, I didn't think of that. You know, so um, those, are, those are good things. You know, it's like we all are going to learn from each other. We share information. And, you know, if you choose to utilize it or not utilize it, obviously that is your choice. Uh, you know, so that's kind of what that's all about. Uh, things are starting to dry up outside, which is absolutely awesome. The water is actually dissipating hugely today. Uh, I'll probably do a video outside tomorrow and show you guys exactly where we're at with everything. But uh, like I said, today's video, I wanted to share this information with you. So um, even if you guys, like I say, if you're not a coffee drinker, stock up on the coffee. It's a smart thing to do. Like I said, even, even if you're... Barter. Like I said, yeah, exactly. And Heather just said even as a barter item. Even if you don't plan on drinking it yourself, it's a barter item. And again, it's something that you can say that, you know, to go back to try to have things as normal as possible in whatever. I mean, if you could, uh, a, a year after uh, an event happens and, you know, there's not this stuff there anymore and you can give somebody that taste of something, that's going to be huge. It's going to it's gonna be awesome. It's going to be worth its weight in gold, to be honest with you. They're going to trade you something else for that just so they can have it so they can have that taste of nostalgia and uh but like i said i i love like i said tea so i always have a bunch of tea on hand and like i said it's not that expensive realistically i mean coffee you're looking at like ten dollars it's a ten dollar investment you know and uh the drink mixes i don't even remember what i paid for those i've had these ones for a while um hey, that's see all the dust on top yeah Trying to think, Best Buy, July, oh, it says 26, so I guess it stores well. Let me see what this other one says. Hello, buddy. Welcome. Uh, this says Best Buy, March of 17, so apparently that one don't last as long. But, you know, it's obviously going to be good past the, the, the use-by date. Now, so I wanted to share something with you guys. Um, I thought this was interesting. So, I've been taking a lot of the um, the package, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. Hold on a second. 
like the tuna fish in a package, okay? <laughs> Get out of there. Um, I have been taking a, the tuna fish in the package to work with me. And so I had a bunch of older ones, and I've eaten my way through all of them. But so the one, I looked at it, and I knew I'd had it for a while, and I said, geez, I wonder what the expiration date on this packet of tuna fish is. It was six years ago. It expired six years ago, and I ate it. And it was fine. It didn't smell bad, and it was still good. So, I mean, that's a good example of things being able to be used past their expiration date or best buy date. I should let me rephrase it: not expiration. It's best buy date. So, like with these here, they say best buy that date, March of seventeen. Okay, it means you can still use it well after the best buy date. The only difference is that things start to lose their nutritional value after that date. That's all that is. So eating that tuna fish six years past its best by date, it didn't harm me, and it was fine. Okay, so that's just an example. But like I said, the, the purpose of this video is obviously to get you guys thinking. Um, if you can think of other things that you would pack away, feel free to let me know. And uh, But like I said, this is just an example. And like I said, it's to get you guys thinking, okay? So I'm going to jump off of here for now so I can get this video up. It's about 7 o'clock at night, and uh, I want to get this up for you guys. So remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day how you feel. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen, okay? And remember, it's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. STD, easiest way to remember it. What do you not want to have? You don't want to have an STD, but you do want to do STD. You want to be methodical, and you'll get there. Whatever your dreams, your hopes are, as long as you're working towards it, you can get there. Okay, guys? So I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse went out for now.